So now that we're in the new year, get ready to reach a little deeper into your wallets, at least to pay for some of the fun stuff. As Aaron Saltzman explains, in 2015, the prices of some of your favorite vices are set to go up. At the Monarch Tavern, the drink of choice is bourbon. They have as many as 45 different types. You can have your cheap and cheerful, and then you can have your trophy bottles, which unfortunately might be a little higher, but it's sure worth it. Let's hope so, because the price of bourbon is set to rise. There seems to be something of a perfect storm brewing. Drinks writer and historian Christine Sismondo says there's a shortage of barrels used to make bourbon. The falling Canadian dollar is also a factor, but the main reason, she says, is a lack of supply caused by huge demand for the uber-trendy American spirit. The domestic market is growing at 30 to 40 percent, the export market at 50 percent. So these are... Um, uh, huge demands on the industry that can only really drive the prices up. All right, cheers. It's nothing to cheer about. In fact, a number of favorite flavors will cost more in 2015. Olive oil producers in Europe had what they're calling the worst harvest in memory. Bad weather and blight cut production dramatically. The bulk price in Italy, the world's second largest producer, has more than doubled. Bad weather is also being blamed for a jump in the price of avocados. In this case, it's drought in California and Chile. Drug cartels are also affecting production in Mexico. It's disease or the fear of it actually that's making chocolate more expensive. About 60% of the world's cocoa comes from Ivory Coast and Ghana, both close to Liberia where Ebola has hit hard, raising concerns about transportation costs. <laughs> Bacon prices are already at an all-time high thanks to a virus killing millions of piglets. With bacon mania creating record demand in North America, experts expect costs to continue to sizzle. Back at the bar, owner Michael Dorbick says they'll try not to let any bourbon shortage affect their prices. We may have to adjust a dollar here, a dollar there, but I think we're a very budget-friendly uh, bourbon bar. That definitely calls for a toast. Cheers. Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Toronto. He managed to sneak two sips mm -hmm. into that story. Yeah. Coming up to the top of the clock, a group of residents who say they were victimized by vulgar, mocking flyers. They are testifying at the Ontario Human Rights Tribunal. Why they allege that their co-op board did little to help them. That and all of your day's top stories are next. CBC News Toronto at 6 starts right now. Going for gold, Canada's junior.